Hey everyone, it's MaggieBot, um, and this weekend I went to a game day and I brought my PNP copy of a game called I My Favorite Things, and um, when friends had heard me talking about this because I had played it at BGGCon, they were pretty curious, and now that I've made a PNP, they're like, okay, how does it work? And apparently when you read the rules, and I agree with this completely, it's still pretty hard of like how it works and what it did, so I figured I'll just go through my PNP a little bit and teach you how to play it. Um, you can totally buy a real copy if you live in Japan and are very, very lucky, but right now it's super, super not available. The second publishers that this game becomes available, I will totally buy a copy. So um, just keep that in mind, just saying. <laughs> but for now, I had to make my own. So what you need uh, to make a PNP of this are some card sleeves, just a 50 pack, a 50 pack of any sort of just plain white cards so you could make these yourself with white paper you could draw on old pokemon cards like whatever you want to do i just grabbed a 50 pack of plain white cards poker size because it was just going to be nice and easy for me um you need a 50 pack of dry erase cards these are just glossy um treated cards they're not quite as nice as commercially like laminated beautifully treated dry erase something but they work just fine um some sort of dry erase pens and just to uh put the numbers and stuff on there you just need some sharpies um stuff you probably have somewhat around your house already and then um, for the game itself you'll need some sort of tokens you can use literally anything on earth that will be a token um, I went deep into my token jar so I put some skulls some gold stars and this secret agent and I think I threw a die in there and then you need a first player marker which in our case was this uh, Sailor Moon cheerleader um, she's pretty happy about it and so you've got your dry erase markers and everything. Um, the first thing you need to do is on the plain white cards, you need to write the numbers uh, zero through f uh, zero through five. So you've written them off to one side, um, just on the plain white cards underneath. Um, these are going to be how you play the trick taking part of the game. Um, you'll need some sort of card uh, that's category. So you'll write the permanently in, in Sharpie category. And um, so the game is played where uh, the person to your left, right, or across the table or whatever will give you a category. So I have given, um, I'm the black player and I've given the green player uh, egg preparation. And so they're going to write uh, their five favorite ways that eggs are prepared. And then they're going to write one that they don't really like, but sounds sort of like one they might like. And they're going to slip... Um, so, like, I have uh, my favorite egg preparation, by the way, totally Migas. So, I'm going to put Migas secretly over the number one. And so, all you can see on the card is Migas when you hand it back to the player who gave you the category. Um, so, I'm going to slip poached over zero. You're going to learn a lot about my egg preferences right now. I'm going to put huevos rancheros over number two. I'm going to put scramble over number three. I'm going to put hard boiled over number four, and I'm going to put fried over number five. And so I just have this now deck of cards that just have words about eggs on them. I'm going to shuffle them up. And then I'm going to hand that and the category card back to the player that gave me the category. And now they're going to use that as their hand for a round of trick taking. So everyone's going to get a unique category from the person next to them. They're going to write down their answers. They're going to secret them over the numbers and they're going to hand the whole stack back to that player. And then we play trick taking. So maybe I start out and I think, okay, Marguerite really probably loves fried eggs. So I start with fried egg out on the table and everyone goes around and plays one card out of their hand. And then we reveal the numbers from below it. And so you kind of want those offset to the side so you don't have to slip them out too far. So fried is number five. And so whomever has the card closest to one or one uh, wins the trick, except zeros, the one that people didn't really like, like poached eggs. I don't really like poached eggs. Um, they trump any ones that are played. Uh, if there are ties, the person closest to the first player marker, which will pass every single trick, um, will win the tie. And every time you win a trick, you get a token. You play through five of the six cards, and then you do a new category. The technical rules of I My Favorite Things says that you play two rounds, one from the left and one from the right. 
personally, if I was playing, I'd want one round where you exchange a category with everyone at the table. So if it was a four player game, you'd do three rounds um, just just to keep it kind of fun and silly. Um, I want to be able to participate with everyone at the table, I think. Um, but yeah, this is that's, that's the whole game is that you play this trick taking game and it's kind of a how well do you know the friends book preferences or horror movies or there's a lot of different things you can use as categories. Um, the funny one last night was player color was kind of a good one. Um, and honestly, I just, I wish this game was a little more prevalent. So we'd have this giant list of like fun categories people saw kind of like when you see people's code name boards, but yeah, that's all there really is to it is some dry erase cards that are secreted over some plain white cards with the numbers written down on them, some tokens, some sleeves and some pens. And that's about it. And don't be a dumb and do one in copper and one in bronze Sharpie just because you have copper and bronze Sharpie like I do. Um, I'm going to have to redo one of those in black. But that's just me. Um, the color differences, like the green Sharpie versus the whatever Sharpie, doesn't really matter because you're never mixing the cards together. It just makes it a little bit easier to like separate things and keep things nice and neat. Uh, but that's all for me for now. And I hope you're having a good day and that you get to try this fun, fun game. And if you're at a con with me in the next few months, I'll probably have it on my person. So please ask and let's play. Thanks. Bye.